Team Love Talk. Team Love, Team Love Talk. Team Love, Team Love Talk. We are in the building. Yours truly, Mr. T Love, T Love Talks Podcast. It's been a minute, y'all. Let me cut that camera off for a second. It's been a minute, y'all. Let me get big for you too, so you can look at me. It's been a minute, y'all trying a different format. It's I mean, I'm just saying, I, I haven't done a podcast a full, just outright throw down T Love podcast in a minute. So I had to come correct, pause, no diddy. I know y'all miss me, so I had to put my face back in the building. So I'm gonna do a new segment. So with the with the main show, I'm gonna have multiple segments. I've been sitting back, observing. Is that a word? I'm trying to figure out how to be the best version of T Love and how to get the best content to y'all. Excuse me, let me get a drink, y'all. All right, so this episode, T Love checking out some bullshit. Um, I'm going to create this segment amongst other segments that will be in the main show. We're definitely getting into the sports. We got football season coming up. I got some other football expert guys gonna be coming in the picture. Big guy, Coach CJ. It's gonna be fun, y'all. So you know, we're going to be doing some live commentating right from the Jags game this year. Duval, stand up. Good. Ugly nook. Ugly. All right, so I hope y'all can hear me loud and clear. We're going to get into some content. But, um, yeah, man, fool with me. Fool with your boy. The king is back. He is back to drop content for you. And to make sure, you know, I'm the original, original. Come on, how I got to hit you? It's been a while. I ain't hit you in a minute. The original. I got the money. Yeah. I got the money for pussy. For, for what? For pussy. Pussy? Look. It's a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. What is that? I need a pussy. Mr. T Love. Come on, baby. Y'all know how we do that. Y'all know how we does it. We out here, we be getting all the old hoes. But so what you got to say for the camera? In. Uh, He's out by getting stuff. I'm just waiting for him to come back. You, all right. I- you know where I'm at? I'm out getting stuff, fellas. Y'all already know. I'm getting that paper out of bank account. Man, let's go ahead and get into this content, man. T-Love checking out some bullshit. Oh, man, I feel bad because I kind of said that how my homeboy said his intro. Shout out to my boy, Corey Hoka, man. Y'all heard about uh, Darlene's loose talk about bullshit. So we doing T Love checking out some bullshit. So I wouldn't be fair if I didn't give credit. Well, credit is due. But let's go ahead and get into some of these clips. And we going to do it. It is. I don't know. <laughs> She's like, who's the thing? But like, it don't work for some people because I had a lot of ass. Mm-hmm. So like, if you not well endowed, it's mm-hmm. gonna be falling out. Missionary. Well, I want a kiss. I uh-huh. want to tell you how much I love you. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I like I, to look good. Yes, you know? I want to smell like that Hennessy. I like a little speed. You know how like it was yeah. like cool to listen to Lana Del Rey and you were edgy. That's how doggy style. Is. <laughs> doggy style is giving like, oh, you think you did something? It was something. trendy. <laughs> it was trendy. Yesterday, me and Daniel joined forces. Let me take that out. Hold on. I got to, you know what? This ain't, this ain't doing. What does she say? She like a little spit. I just, see, this is what I be trying to let guys know about certain bullshit. When you be seeing these little fly little chicks in the club like this, man, understand, man, she done been down through there, man. And she like it a certain kind of way. So when you meet and you come with that gentleman, hi there, young lady. You're looking beautiful today and all of that bullshit, man. Them girls be looking at your ass like you stupid, man. Because them girls be trying to get 
bang the beat out, the beat, the beat, the beat down. They, they be trying to get choked. They is not with all of that lovey-dovey shit, man. These girls, you heard it. You heard with my mom, that missionary. They want a little spit, dog. They want to get slapped a little bit. Chill out, YouTube. Chill out. I'm just saying. People don't understand that. And you need to start taking the right approach, man. When you meet these women, man, deal with them like a like a real G should deal with a woman, man. Stop trying to deal with these women like they just these little princesses because they done been through a lot of the ringers. I'm not going to lie. A lot of them. A lot of the ringers. <clears throat> I need to figure out how to pause this clip because... I was pausing it outside of the live show. Hold on, let me. We're gonna run this back, but we gotta figure out how to pause this. Something. It is. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, who's the thing? But like, it don't work for some people because I had a lot of ass. Mm -hmm. So like, if you not well endowed, it's mm -hmm. gonna be falling out. Missionary. Well, I want to kiss. I uh -huh. want to tell you how much I love you. Mm -hmm. You know, I, just, I like I, to look up. Yes, you know? I want to smell like that a, Hennessy. I like a little speed. You know how like it was yeah. like cool to listen to Lana you, Del Rey. You heard what she said. That's she got a lot of ass. Doggy <laughs> style is giving like, oh, you, you think you did something? Long. It was trendy. Like, that shit gonna be falling Yesterday, out. me and Banyol joined forces. So that's why I be letting y'all guys know. Y'all can't be playing yourself, man. They know they don't. They don't messed up. And used to. You know, ain't nobody really checking for you to take you serious in life. So they be like, I look good. You know, I, what I, I would say is it's going to be fun career. either way. You can I make got a woman bust got three inches. I got a house. Yeah, that's what, you I got know, a four-bedroom house. That's what the, uh, the, the, the Asian guys for. I'm sure they women have orgasms too, you know. Black men are just You know, you got to know about a woman's body. You don't need to be all the way back there. A man, God going to send me a man. God is not sending no black woman no man, baby. God is not sending black women men, baby. No, he not. Lord, today, I'm letting y'all know. God is not sending black men to wife black women. He's not going to send a man Amazon Prime them, FedEx them to your door, baby. That's not how it works, baby. You have to do the work. It's amazing how women be talking all this spiritual stuff, this religious stuff, and they don't apply it to themselves for real. Why are black women like this? Why are we like this? We're the only women out here that video. don't want to okay, put work we in. Back. We back. What is that? Oh, let's run it. When black women, they know to call it Chris. Every woman should want a man that has Chris. C H R I S. Credit. Just be not credit. Credit. He should have some type of health right. routine, no, something he does health for his health. Not just physical health, but physical health is one and mental health. Look at him. Look at that man. If that man does not have a certain type of routine when it comes to mental and physical health, you are in, in a situation that's going to be a very disastrous situation. The third thing is real estate. Nowadays, you got to make sure a man got somewhere to stay. Is that his place? Is he renting it? Is it in his name? Is it his brother's house? Is it his homeboy's house? Is he, is he spending the night over your house a little bit too much because he really ain't got nowhere to stay? Mm. These men don't be having no house. So let's find out, do we have some kind of real estate? And I'm talking about, it could be an apartment. Yeah. Whose name is it in? Yeah. Is it in a real apartment? Is it one of them? It's crazy. So no roommates. Cell phone, not even. No. So, so, so that, then I. First of all, yes it is. I, Something else is never talked about is how the men of the friend of your spouse is the one who tries to holler at you when that man dies. When my late husband died, um, one of the Paul bears that I handpicked myself because my husband kept saying how close him and this person was, one of them tried to talk to me. One of the homeboys out of the military tried to talk to me. It was the craziest thing ever. Like, I didn't even know stuff like that was real. Like, my mom used to tell me stories and stuff like that, but I didn't even know something like that could happen to me. So, this is why I'd be daring people to play with me. I still got the receipts. <clears throat> he texted me one day just to check. It was the same message as he always said. Hello, just checking in on you in London. I'm like, yeah, we good. I'm just leaving therapy. I'm feeling better, kind of getting back to myself now. He's like, well, I'm glad to hear that. I'm like, all right, cool. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good too. All right, well, you know, I always just check on y'all because I know y'all lost a friend too. Yeah, I know, whatever, whatever. Well, I'm gonna get back to work. That's normally how the text messages go. After I send that, he texts back. And he's like, I'm not rushing you or nothing like that. <clears throat> but when you start to heal up and you start looking to date, I was hoping that you would give me a chance. I think this was the kicker. He told me, I feel like 
your husband would want you to be with somebody who he knew who he knew would take care of you and his little girl it is true now you mad because you caught up big sick big sick she's sick she's sick you got this nigga in this house right now look i told you I I told you told me coming, what he was coming home and I, 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 you I never said told, anything you know, I said one thing but i mean now the truth is he's coming home so why didn't you just be honest because from the I see this is the shit that i be talking about because, out here I mean, there's women out here grown women grown we talking and about you, helping you, you with so her. why would you do some so, up I, shit I, like that i'm really sorry i paid the I, bills here and you got another in this house but he came home i don't know what else to do what do you what was all that bullshit you was talking about building and growing and all that shit i really planned on but plan like, on I, doing what? Like he, plan he, on lying? He, no, he came out of jail. He has. I've been taking care of his child. He has. Look, he has nowhere to stay. I don't. I don't give a fuck about him. I, I don't care about that. You, you I, knew, I, yeah. So why did you even deal with me in the first place? I really wanted it to work. You I, crazy? No, like you crazy? No, uh, I'm not trying to hit none of that. I, look, I I've been you. taking care of Talia since she was I, three. Since she was three. This ain't did shit for you. I pay all the bills here. But he's home now. He said he's gonna get a job and everything. I don't give a fuck about that. Bro, what is you I, talking about? Like, it's nothing that I really. Right you, tell him come outside. Can, look, can you come? Can you come? Tell him come outside. Come outside. Tell him come outside. Okay, I'm like I'm. Too I don't even want to. I don't want to do no look, fussing. No, no. I just want to talk to him as a I grown man, so that you can see. Yo, you see the type of woman you dealing with, bro. I appreciate everything. Do you, you see did. the type of woman like, you no, dealing it's with, not bro? That. It's not that. It's, it's really look at this. Look, do you see the type of? Appreciate what? Bro, you're a grown ass man and another his house that he's paying bills for you just came home this get on your shit before house. messing this with a female like this bro this, this some bird house. ass shit like you this man i've been paying bro i don't know what she been telling you i've been paying the bills here bro he i've been taking care of your daughter you know, all that dumb ass shit every time you was calling her from the jail bro no, i was in the bed with her bro thing. i noticed most of us black women we do an outstanding job at keeping other black women single girl don't listen to them. Don't listen to them men. Girl, don't listen to them picnics, girl. Wear what you want to wear. Talk how you want to talk. Go to whatever after-hour spot you going to go to. Do you. Bar hop. Do you. Wow. I see no lies in what she's saying. Wow. Hmm. Also, Girl, each other no man is failure. controlling. Couldn't be me. I'd be letting him go. Ain't no way. Ain't no man finna control me ever. What? Control who? What? Huh. Not me. Girl, please. Couldn't be me, baby. Controlled. And it'd be the other way around. These chicks always want to control thing. me. Pay the down po po deposit on our house. Let's not pretend that I'm not the one that paid for the Range Rover. Let's not pretend that I. I'm the one to pay for this whole fucking life that we live. Let's not pretend that. Let let's let's not pretend. Let's not pretend. Oh, okay. Let's not pretend. Let let's just be very very real. You told me to put it on live, so I put it on live. So and then you want to start talking about a glass of wine, and then you want to start saying, "Oh, are you not gonna talk?" After I was just sitting here silent before we even got on live, I've been not talking. I've been not talking. I've been not. I've been not talking. So what are you talking about? Oh, okay. That's why I pretend that I'm the, the one that paid the down pot. Po so you were behind my back. Yeah, I'm grown. I'm old enough now. I feel like I got the right to do that. So I just wanted to get a test and see what is my daughter. And so you called him? Yeah, I called him. He was like, um, he thought I was his son. <laughs> So that means that I don't, we don't see nothing funny. Nah, 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 nah. Cause Cause you, nah cause but you but see, I told you that was your dad. I, 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 first of all, first of all, that is your dad. I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know who you took the test with and uh, what you had going on. But that, that's your dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds good, but look, I'm just. Saying, it sounds good. Nah, that's the result. The result is say what it say now. Nah. I, I, I can't lie. I can't fake no result. My boy said it sounds nah, good. You had something going on and. The man that was my daddy. First of all, you didn't have to be going behind my back. That's what you didn't have to be doing. Yeah, yeah, but I just felt like I ain't had no bond with him like that. Like I knew something was off. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I wanted to go get yeah, my results. Spirit, that man knew what was going on. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Let me tell you something. It's okay. You it's know, I'm, I'm old enough. I understand. Now, if he ain't, if, if my real dad ain't want to take care of me. 
You know what I'm saying? And, 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 See, some things are better left unsaid. Oh, okay. You should just left it like it was. Okay. I ain't tell you. I told you that was your daddy. You should have went right on with it all these years. You 18 years old, 19 years old now. That don't matter. A young man has a young man has a right to passage. That don't matter. See, that shit like that happen all the time. Because once you get a certain age as a man, your mama can tell you whatever she want to tell you. But as a man, you are gonna figure it out because at some point she gonna look to you for for guidance. She gonna get older, especially if she don't have a man in her life. So, and even if she do, you still a seed. So, it should be crazy, man. T love checking out some bullshit. You know what I mean? We're going to start dropping these episodes on a regular basis, man. Y'all make sure y'all chime in, like, subscribe, comment on the videos. You know what I mean? We're going to keep bringing the comment back to back to back to back to back. Y'all know y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to get up out of here, mother sucker. And until the next time, y'all already know what it is. We gone. Thank <laughs> you.